We're here at the Danone Conventional Center and we're at the Muscle Cars and Corvette Nationals. Please enjoy the next video. Well, yes, this is uh, this is the last Buick Grand National that was made. Uh, pretty much an icon of the 80s. Personally, um, as you see the car today, it's a good, it's a driver car. The paint is just beautiful on this car. It's just an awesome engine that <laughs> drive those GM cars. Well, there is something I wanted to. They're coming out with that new ZR1 Corvette. So the handling, the braking, the power is just phenomenal. The last car at the end of the line culminating 64 years of automotive production at the plant. It's truly a one-of-a-kind car. Wow. It's a drive daily driver. We drive it all the time. Well, it sits very well. <laughs> but to get a convertible in this color was extremely hard to get. No, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. <laughs> we trailered it out here from Massachusetts. 18-hour ride. This is our wow. first time here at the Chicago show. with the cars, I love them, enjoy them, and I guess I'll always do it till the day I die. <laughs> you won't see anything uh, that's this color, and I think that's what makes the car pop. Uh, the color is called Grabber Yellow. It was actually a special color for 69 Shelby, so uh, I spent seven years working on it and about 1,600 hours. And what you're looking at here, Paulette, is our tribute car to Carol Shelby. Welcome to U.S. Classic Muscle Cars, and today we are here at the Don Lee Convention Center, and I'm here today with Ken from The Finer Details. Now, can you tell us one or two things? Uh, the car right behind us, Yes. and what you do at The Finer Details. What we do is we take the cars and we do complete restorations on them from the ground up. We take every nut and bolt off the cars and restore them back to correct OE condition the way they rolled off the assembly line floor. Okay, and this was one of your work? Right yes, here? yes. Now tell me a little bit about this car. This car is a 1971 446 pack CUDA convertible. They only made 12 of these cars. This is the very last CUDA convertible produced um, with the 446 pack. It's also an original owner car. He still owns it to this day. Um, we bought the car, or we not bought the car, but brought the car to the shop did the restoration, he had talked to us for a couple of years at shows and everything about restoring the car, and I was shocked when I got there, I didn't know what the car was, he'd never tell me until we got there, and as soon as I saw it, and with our expertise in the Mopars, I had a heart attack on the car, and um, we took it apart and restored it for him, and he still owns it to this day. How long did it take you for the restoration? It, it was about a year and a half on this. Did you put any clear coats on the car? Yes, it's um, um, we use nothing but PPG, clear coat, base coat. It's done in the original Hemi Orange, just like it was ordered from the factory. It's a factory rubber bumper car, um, six-way seat, and a convertible. Uh, how much horsepower does this car uh, From the factory, they're rated at 390. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about the engine? It's a factory, they're born with motor. It's the original numbers matching motor. Um, and transmission in there. It is a 440 with three two-barrel carburetors, which is a 446 pack, um, with power steering um, and 391 rear gears. And is it possible for you to show me the interior of the car? We do, we do all the interior work there at our shop. Um, this is all done there except for the um, convertible top. I, on, we do um, vinyl tops at our shop, but not convertible tops. They're very hard to go and do without messing them up. And I use a um, company up there by me in Indianapolis called Claude and Greggs um, that does all my convertible top work. Now I understand you do have another car here. Can you tell me a little bit about the other car? Yes. This right here is a 1970 Charger. 
um, 500. Um, it's T5 copper with the buckskin interior. Um, it's a factory 383 car. Um, William Robinson um, is here. It's the first time he's seen it since um, we restored it. Um, he's from Dayton, Ohio. Um, it's the first time he's seen it. He had bought the car, brought it to a couple different um, shops. They basically messed him over, brought it to our shop, and we did a complete restoration on it. And how long did it take for this one? This one was an off and on pro or an off and on project on the car, and this was a three-year project. Three years. Yep. Okay. Now tell me a little bit about the engine of the car. This one is a 383, a factory 383 um, motor. It's been um, stroked, balanced, stroked. Um, we put a stock-looking intake in the car. It's not the correct one. It's an aluminum one that we sat there and um, blended in to make it look like an original. We also added aftermarket um, AC form. Can you show me the interior of the sure. car? <laughs> now tell me a little bit about the interior of the car. The interior has got a factory console, bucket seats, um, buckskin. It's got the rally cluster in there with the factory AM FM, um, power steering, the console. Um, it's all done just the way it came off the assembly line floor. And tell me, does this car also have some clear coat? Yes. I uh, also used um, PPG base coat clear coat on this. Well, thank you so much. Thank it was you. a pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share and like our videos. I'm taking a break. Please enjoy the next video.